it is a great honor to call up the rules package for the 112th Congress. Two months ago, voters sent a clear message of repudiation against a government that failed to deliver results. Government for too long has operated under the flawed assumption that growing bigger and controlling more is necessarily better. Consequently, Washington has grown inefficient, unfocused, and wasteful. Spending has gone progressively higher, while results for all Americans have not been realized. Our new majority stands for a different and better way. We believe in a government that controls less and spends less, but accomplishes more. We believe in a smarter government, a more efficient government, a more focused government. The new House majority will be about cut and grow. We're going to cut spending and job-killing government regulations and grow the economy and private sector jobs. Madam Speaker, each day we will hold ourselves accountable by asking the following questions. Are our efforts addressing job creation in the economy? Are they cutting spending? And are they shrinking the size of the federal government while protecting and expanding individual liberty? If not, why are we doing it? This rules package reflects these priorities. We establish a Constitution-focused House of Representatives, which starts by reading the Constitution of the United States on the House floor and requiring that every bill be accompanied by a statement of constitutional authority. We make in order our first spending cut, a reduction of at least 5% to Congress's own budget, including members, leadership, and committees. We replace PAYGO with cut as you go to ensure that all spending increases are offset by spending cuts elsewhere in the budget. And on all appropriations bills, members can now offer spending reduction amendments, which will help ensure that savings actually go towards cutting the deficit rather than being spent elsewhere. In this spirit, over the coming weeks, we will pass a repeal of last year's health care bill to remove the strain on job creators. We will cut spending in the current fiscal year back down to 2008 pre-bailout levels. And we will identify and eliminate job-killing regulations that are impeding capital formation in America. Madam Speaker, these actions will send a credible signal to families, businesses, and financial markets that we are dead serious about getting spending under control and regaining our competitive footing in America. Our majority will return America to prosperity by promoting a culture of success. Our mission is not to redistribute wealth or tell people how to live their lives, but instead to lift people up by giving them opportunity and encouraging them to take responsibility. By passing this rules package, we will take a significant step in the right direction. It will put us on the road to weaning America off its dependence on debt and government programs as an economic lifeline and help us build a new, more hopeful future rooted in limited government, long-term investment, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And I yield back.